Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time we built the shell of our base and are getting ready to fill it with all of the space elevator parts. However, we can't mess with that at all today because we have a problem. Something's going wrong with the nuclear power plant and we're losing megawatts, brother. Which is really annoying because last time we finally got rid of all of our nuclear waste and turned our power plants back on and everything was running fine for like hours and hours and hours. So now we're in the great position where we have to scooby-doo this whole mess and find whatever problems exist while leaving it running because we can't find the problems if the thing's not turned on. But if the thing's turned on, we're gonna be making nuclear waste out the wazoo. So you know, just tons of fun to be had. Okay, number one most important thing. Are we actually backing up on nuclear waste? That is of course mission critical. So we have the two lines down here that go over to our plutonium factory. And if they are full, we're in a bad spot, but th th what? <laughs> now this is even more confusing though. How are we not making all of our power, but we're still processing all of the waste? That doesn't make sense. If we're not overproducing waste, then does that mean we're underproducing nuclear fuel rods? Or is there like a backup? How is other stuff, ooh, how is other stuff looking? Hmm. <laughs> almost fell. What is this? Why is that line so busy busy? Well, I think we may have just found our first clue. Little bit of nuclear waste here. A little bit too much. But everything's still going fine. Like everything seems to be fitting on the line here. Like this is emptying, it's not backing up. I don't get it. This is a very weird one. What about back here? Yeah, same deal. It's like just about to be backed up over here. But no, it's holding its own. <laughs> That's not though. Hey, I'll take that extra 2,500 megawatts. Thank you very much. And also probably clog my system. No biggie. Whatever. We're troubleshooting right now. So let's follow this even further back and well, 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 no. The whole clog is getting pushed right to the back here. But are any of the reactors actually stopping from this? Like we're losing a lot of power, a lot. So I'm expecting to see at least a couple of these clogged up completely, but everything's still technically running. We can't keep getting away with this. Oh, fun fact, we not. So these four, yeah, these four are getting clogged up and they're overclocked. So that's 25,000 megawatts right there. Big wow. Well, you know, out of all the things to go wrong, this is actually a pretty easy one to solve because our plutonium lines are still holding up, which means we just have to reroute some things. Specifically right down to our super secret nuclear waste river, i.e. our other nuclear waste line that's from the other reactors on the other side of the plant. Yeah, because this one is like pretty much empty. And also, the other reactors that poop out onto this line aren't overclocked. So we can definitely feed a little bit extra into here. So all we gotta do is like a hot swap of belts here. This belt just has to go to here and through a merger. So if we have extra nuclear waste, we can just throw it onto this line. Okay. So three, two, one, go. Okay, good, 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 good. Dude, I'm so slow. Please. No. Please. Excellent. All right, that could have been a lot worse. Now I can just throw that excess waste in here. Yeah, just really had to be quick with that because it would just back up a lot more waste over here and could crash our systems. No, you know, everything seems to be fine, so maybe we just manually grab this waste as well. Hmm? Yeah, let's just do that. Oh man, having flashbacks to the Chernobyl stuff, just with, you know, 1,715 nuclear waste on me. Just, you know, another day, right? Just another day. But main thing is, that's gonna be a huge fix for our system. But I'm sure that's not gonna be the last problem. Yep, I leave it alone for five seconds to live my life. Back to 320, let's go. Honestly, <laughs> why? Actually, I know why. I have been messing around with this thing for a while. 
on my Twitch live streams. And I'm having a lot of problems with sulfuric acid and the pipes. The pipes here are getting backed up all the time. All of the time. And none of these machines are running right now. Look at this. What? Huh? Oh, because yeah, this is backed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why. Like, it should not be possible. Because how we have this set up is we have sulfuric acid coming in here. It's like 300. And we need 400 sulfuric acid for all of these blenders to run. So since the four blenders make 25 sulfuric acid each, we just feed that back into here with a 300 pipe. There we go. We have the sulfuric acid we need. But somehow, somehow, this keeps getting full. I don't know why. Very confusing. So I've tried some things, like I added on like a buffer over here, and it didn't work. Yeah, this is this is full right now. This is full. Why? Flush it. <sighs> Goodness. So yeah, I've come over here, I've messed with things, I've flushed the system every so often, but still, every so often it keeps happening. So I, I don't really know exactly what to do. Well, there is one solution, but I'd really prefer not to do that, because let me tell you, it's not gonna be fun and it's gonna be a big headache. Huh, and you know what's weird? After having that problem happen, I ran into a new one. One I never would have expected. Guess what? You won't guess, I know you won't. I wouldn't have guessed, and I'm a genius. <laughs> no. We ran out of concrete. How, like, out of all the things. Concrete? Really? We have all of this pipe network, and our problem is concrete? Why? Why is this running on 29% efficiency? Well, I traced the issue. You won't believe this. <laughs> it's hilarious. So we have the concrete being made over here, right? It's these refineries by the train. Cool. It makes like, I don't know exactly how much concrete, but a lot, right? Enough to make everything work. See? It's fine. It's only running at 38% though. Why is it only running at 38, 50%-ish efficiency? What's going on? Kind of teased you a bit there, but hmm. No hydration. But look, I did set this up. There's the two water extractors right over there. Follow the line. Da 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 da. All 600 pipe. Or so you would think. The traitor. I guess I messed with the pump or something. But there's a 300 line. Ruining everything. But you know, at least it's a simple fix. So, one more problem, kind of off the docket. Meaning the last issue I know about currently is the sulfuric acid problem. Keeps building up, keeps clogging the system, keep having to flush. Can you even see it happening right now? So what is the plan there? Well, we're gonna have to sink it. It's the only way. We're gonna have to gather it up and sink it. Fortunately, there are alternate recipes for canisters. So we can just make the canisters out of iron plates and copper sheets. So that's great, and it's just gonna be a heck of an annoyance bringing this all together. But the more I think about it, the more I think it's gonna help out substantially. Because what we have to do first here is we have to combine all of these outflow lines together. Combining these all together will get more of the sulfuric acid kind of moving around a bit, so that should help things. Really just by ironing out discrepancies. Still, everything would fill up and it would be a disaster. But, like, the storage tank we made actually helped for a little bit, but yeah, just a band-aid. We gotta sink this. And then there's the problem where we might take too much sulfuric acid out of the system, and then that's a whole other can of worms. So probably for the next psh, forever, I'm gonna have to monitor this and find, like, the sweet spot for where to have this valve. So we'll start this at, like, 100 sulfuric acid per minute, and if that's too much, we lower it too little, we raise it. <laughs> and what's another pipe to the system, right? Oh boy. Okay, so any excess sulfuric acid is packaged and sent out to an awesome sink. Done. Hopefully forever. Maybe. Honestly, we'll just probably have to wait another 10 hours because these problems take a while to like reveal themselves. But hey, we're moving back up now. About 350 from <laughs> the 316. Hey, 360, good. So yeah, we'll kind of tackle the problems as they happen. But man, if there's one piece of advice I could give you if you're gonna work on nuclear and like do this whole plutonium setup nonsense, it's build extra capacity for everything. Like add on a fifth blender when you need four and run it at like 10%, just, just to make sure everything actually works. Mm.
It has been many hours later, and I've been watching, I've been waiting, I've been looking for clues! And everything looks good. I think we fixed it. I think we fixed the sulfuric acid thing, but we still have a problem. But first, let me just show you something. I've been looking at these numbers, and I don't think I explained them, but they're pretty important. But when you click on a machine here, it has this little bar graph, and this is like its uptime, like how often it's running. It's like 99%, very good runtime. For this thing, 99%, great. And the machines that were causing issues back over here were at like 20. And now they're at 99%. So all of the sulfuric acid things are running great. This is good. This is fantastic. Then where's my power? Where is it? Where is it? I should be at 380,000 megawatts, brother. When we first turn this on, that's where we're at. Why are we dipping? Give me my megawatts. I need them, and I want them. Give them to me now. So we're on the hunt, and we're gonna start back at the source. So nuclear waste, still fine. The line over there, not backed up, meaning we're all good. So perhaps, just maybe, it's actually our nuclear fuel rod production in here. And wow, I haven't been in here in a minute, and it is looking awesome. I can't wait for beams though. Oh boy. Anyway, how are we looking? 97%? That's a good number. We take those. 97%, all right, all right, all right. Middle one, 81%. Could be better, but honestly, it's still pretty good. If it's around like 60, that's when we have a, a big problem. Another one at 80%, 97, and 97. Yeah, like the 80% are just because we're using overflow, right? Like all of the items are flowing in from one side, and then the two middle machines aren't gonna run as well. This is to be expected. But maybe it's a problem with the green boys. Honestly, I'm like 90% sure this is the problem, if anything. And I would be blatantly wrong. 97% efficiency, this is running great. So we are making all the nuclear fuel rods we need. That's not the problem. The problem must be out with the nuclear reactors. Or at least that's my next thought. Okay, inspection day. Reactors, best behavior. Anything going weird? Anything little funky? How you guys looking? Pretty good. Yeah, 360. Is there an efficiency graph? Zero. What? But it's literally running right now. I guess the efficiency graph is different when it comes to nuclear reactors? Maybe. Well, we have a hundred to check on, so it's like, we'll find out pretty quick here. Okay, though. These are looking good. <gasps> Wait. Okay, A, theory is right. B, the water. It has to be the water, right? We know the nuclear waste isn't backing up. We know the nuclear fuel rods are being produced at a sufficient rate. It's the only other variable. There is a traitor in the pipes. Where? Where is it? Somewhere lurking. It's not feeding our reactors their sippy drink. How are we looking over here? Mmm. <laughs> well, well, well. You are not looking good, bud. You don't have water, bud. Why? Why? No, no, 200 water? Did I do another one of those, like, Mark 1 pipe mistakes again? Please, please, no. Wait, there's two of them that aren't filled properly. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. It can't be. Okay, it can't be. It can't be. I have to hold out hope for my sanity that there isn't a Mark 1 pipe in there. I, I, I <laughs> no. I'm gonna go with option B. Something's wrong with the water extractors. We'll start there, and then we'll make our way back into messing with um, this. Uh, as I get down here though, I'm looking at these pipes still, and they're all at 600. Like, they're all fine. I've been keeping an eye to see if any are empty, but I'm not seeing that, so. Getting a little scared. It, it can't be the pumps. Past kibs. You would have made sure that these were fine. Yeah, these are all gonna be fine. I'm certain. Uh, 300 pipe, that's just stuff combining, okay. Is there, wait, no, no. Water extractors, I bet, actually wait. If anything, 
Maybe some just don't have power shards. Yeah, logical conclusion. Also simplest thing to deal with. Let's start with that. Because we had to overclock all of these or else if we didn't, we'd have 2.5 more water extractors than you already see. And that was never gonna happen. But knowing me, I would probably get bored doing all these water extractors and I probably forgot just a step. Yeah, that's, oh. Uh, that's a past Kibbs thing to do. And it apparently is a past Kibbs thing he's done. Ah, oh, that is such a relief. Wait. Wait, what is this? Why does it go nowhere? What? What? I don't... What's the harm in overclocking these? Think about it, kids. Just overclock them? And hey, maybe they make too much water. And hey, don't worry about it. These ones, though, for sure need to be overclocked. They're combined together into a 600 pipe. And they're lying. And you know what? This all makes sense now. Because when this whole thing started, it was running perfectly fine. Because all of the pipes were full. But as it kept running, these pipes ran out, these couldn't produce enough water, and the power went down. I am Sherlock Holmes. Wow. Then again, if I was Sherlock Holmes, I wouldn't have made this mistake in the first place, but give me this, okay? <laughs> but I guess since we found a couple here, I'll go through the rest and see if any others are messed up. And then we'll check on the power, and then we should be back to normal. So we're all good now with these, and I have to say, I think that is the last problem. I can't really imagine any others, aside from like a 300 pipe in here, but why would I switch? No, I, I don't imagine me doing that. That's not a past Kibbs thing he would do. Okay, so then I'll just give it, I don't know, like half an hour here, and we'll check the power again, and we should have our full 380,000 megawatts! As we kind of wait things out, though, I've been scooting through, and I found another little tiny problem that I wouldn't really expect. But check this out. We have the right amount of water now. I know for sure I literally traced the same line back, but it says no water for like half a second there. So you know what's happening? is the machine keeps on stuttering, which is a huge problem, but is not as big a problem as I actually thought. We're flying. I think this will be a problem though, but it's an easy fix. We just uh, turn that off a little bit, like right off, let that fill back up and have that go back and that will be okay now. It's just because this whole system's been stuttering for a long time. Um. Wow, that was a very quick recovery in the power graph, though. Look at that. <laughs> Only took, like, half a moment there. And we're back to 384. Perfect. We're free. I've been working on this nonsense for so long. I thought it was this little water thing, but no. No, no, no. It was the power shards. Well, good job, me. <laughs> We've saved the day from ourselves. Anyway, though, that problem's fixed, and I think we're gonna end things off here. So sorry for the shorter episode, I'm working on a big project in the background right now. But for now, have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye